So in this video, we are going to see how to add a Microsoft account to Windows 10. Well, there are two ways, like uh, Windows 10, if you have a local account, yes, Microsoft pushes you towards uh, getting the um, um, Microsoft account as your, you know, uh, local account to work on the computer. But if you're like me, you force it local account, you like it, and then you work with them, then there's a, a way to add um, your Microsoft account as well so like I like uh, documents or support pages from Microsoft this is a support page sign in online there are two things this is like describing the thing uh, if you are signing in online then you have to go to this link that is account.microsoft.com but this is the one that we're talking about like if you had signed up uh, with local account and then you want now you want to switch to Microsoft account you can follow the instruction your info if you have it, it's a quick or pro tip here if your computer is a local account you will find it under your info but if like me you have your a domain joint account it will you will find it let's go follow the instruction here this is the settings one this is the accounts and you see there is nothing here under your info the, this blue thing telling me that this is the tab that's selected so click on email and accounts and then you can add a Microsoft account so since you're a domain joined account it's not like that uh, um, you are uh, using Microsoft account as your sign-in information it's just that uh, it is easier and Microsoft account will wherever you need to sign in it will be automatically signed in for example if you can go here themes password language easy and these things will be synced across your devices so let's get started sign in option that's we have discussed that uh, previously so email and accounts I just wanted to see if I enter my email will it work I don't forget I forgot my password so <laughs> I hope this is the one nope. <clears throat> okay it worked <clears throat> so you see it showed up here if I click on this it's asking me either manage Microsoft apps can sign in me if any app Microsoft that requires me sign in it will be automatically signed in I can remove it or manage let's see what's in manage and manage takes me to the online thing see what's going on there and nothing oh you can just like uh, I'm on two devices points and all that fun stuff here so yep I'm on my desktop the host machine and I'm on my this virtual machine so let's exit out of here and see if sync settings are appear no how does syncing work that's another one. so Ah, okay that's why it's not working because this computer is joined with the a on-premises active directory so that's why if I had the Azure active directory these will be all doable only if we allow it in there so when we will go for the Azure uh, we will come back and look in these settings and how to enable them but that is how you get the Microsoft uh, sign in in there and now what happens is that Microsoft will automatically add you to your uh, sign you in so if I click uh, Outlook see if it shows up here automatically or not right there so if I click it it will to set this one up for this account if I exit out of here and what device like what service can I use to automatically sign in? let's see if it's uh, it has Microsoft Edge if I go to mail there should be a link somewhere here 
right right feed nope Amazon okay let's get that is live.com see where it takes us okay if I click sign in am I going to get that automatically nope so it should be an app then have I installed anything from well let's sign me into office store sign in and right there so if any app that wants uh, to use uh, my credentials for Microsoft account yep they will be allowed to so this is it I hope this video has helped please rate comment subscribe and share and I see you in the next one